Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel Automotive Testing. So in this video we will see what are the CDD, PDX and MDX files and how can we add those files on vector canoe or canalizer. So let's get started. CDD, PDX, MDX it is also, also called Diagnostic Discussions. What it does? It describes the diagnostic data, means services and parameters. Services means uh, what are we going to perform on ECU, stack like reading, writing, giving hard reset, soft reset, soft reset uh, reading DTC, DTC value uh, from fault memory. So these are the services. So they are diagnostic databases actually. CD, all this CDD, PDX, MDX, these all are the diagnostic databases. Okay, so CDD means Candela Diagnostic Discussions. It stands for. So CDD files are databases for diagnostic data. Okay, comparable to the DBC file used for CAN messages and signals that we have seen previous video. Uh, in previous video, that DBC files, uh, uh, DBC file files is used for CAN messages and signals. Likewise, CDD files are used for diagnostic data to perform some uh, diagnostic scenarios. Okay. So uh, files are so the CDD files are cr created in the vector tool Candela Studio. Vector tool Candela Studio. Okay. So it can be used in Canoe and Canalizer for symbolic access and interpretation of diagnostic services. Means open diagnostic data exchange. ODX files also carry diagnostic data. Okay, same as CD CDD files. This data can be divided into several ODX files. Example ODX1, ODX2, ODX3. And combined these files we call PDX, PDX, Fact ODX. Okay, like here uh, I have explained, it is stored in PDX files, ODX archives. So uh, ODX1, ODX2, ODX3. If you archive this, so uh, it is called PDX file, tagged ODX files. The usage of ODX files is similar to the usage of CDD files. And, uh, and the next one is MDX file, multiple, uh, sorry, multiplex diagnostic data exchange is an OEM specific format carrying diagnostic data as well. It, uh, the usage of MDX, MDX files is similar to the usage of ODX archive files. Means it is also that uh, database for diagnostic purpose. This slide we have seen what are the CD, CDD, ODX and MDX files. Now how can, how we can, so now how we can add those files in vector canoe or can canalizer. So how to add CDD, PDX files on vector canoe or canalizer. So for this, let's open vector canoe. So to add the CDD PDX files, first go to diagnostic, then diagnostic, select diagnostic ISO TP. Okay, then select can1 or can2. Uh, so uh, if you are using uh, both channel, then you will have to add a CDD file on the on this both channel. So currently I am going to add only on uh, can1. So just select can1 or right click or you can add from here also as well. You select add diagnostic description then navigate to your PDD, uh, CDD file so here I have selected so just select one file and select open so here now uh, your uh, CDD file is open has added so your so now your CDD file has added so here is your qualifier uh, so if you want to change its name you can change otherwise leave it as a, as it is and this is the file descriptions and this or this window is called diagnostic descriptions okay so in our so here uh, interface variant language target group all our default values are set so uh, in first interface if you go so if you see interface so what is this interface interface uh, means it shows the interface defined in the diagnostic description okay each interface here defines iso tp addressing mode Okay, and address parameters that are used as default. So uh, here uh, noted, addressing mode of an interface cannot be changed. So uh, keep it as uh, default only. And variant, variant here you will find common P22, 23, 26. So it it will differ according to your uh, hardware settings or your uh, project or your. So it will differ according to your. Uh, Hardware. Okay, so so uh, target group is used for uh, a special uh, a specific user group like uh, development, manufacturing, and service. So uh, keep keep 
this as it is uh, in a default only as in a usage of the diagnostic description always select a diagnostic uh, tester so in diagnostic uh, tester drop down list there are two options one is physical request and another is function group request so what is physical request what it does in simple terms if i uh, tell you then uh, it send request to multiple ecus on the same network and function group request uh, what it does it send request to ecus that share a specific function means if i uh, if i uh, tell you example uh, if you choose a physical network request or a function group request as a function of diagnostic dis- discussions if all uh, issues on the network implement the contents of the diagnostic discussions as a common subset okay the diagnostic console and fault memory window from here uh, after writing this pdf uh, this uh, file or uh, selecting okay uh, uh, diagnostic uh, console uh, will appear okay so uh, that window can then send a request to all issues on the bus as a physical network request such that send the request via the physical address to all the configured network nodes in sequence or as a functional group request uh, either broadcast using the functional address possible to send physical request to all issues uh, defined on the network or functional re- uh, group request from the diagnostics console and, and the fault memory window if i take, if i select okay then uh, diagnostic window will open see diagnostic select this one so uh, this diagnostic window uh, which uh, i was talking about diagnostic console and the fault memory window here it is fault memory window if i select this this is the fault memory window okay so uh, after uh, if a diagnostic discussion is configured to be a network discussion so if i selected uh, network discussion so what will happen if you define physical network request as it is used in the configuration dialog both windows will open for that diagnostic discussions so uh, physical network request you are able to configure functional group request as a users of a diagnostic discussion this will result in sending this will result in sending a functional request broadcast to all issues defined on a network so uh, in diagnostic test a physical request and uh, Functional group request. So select uh, physical request or default value only. So if you want to select select a functional group request, then when you select, so you select when uh, you share a specific function to all the issues. And okay. physical request does it sends request to multiple issues on the same network. And what functional group request does it sends request to issues that share a specific function. So this two point you remember, then they will be no confusion uh, to you. so it then select okay so uh, this window will be open so it means you have successfully added your uh, cd cdd pdx file okay so this is the fault memory uh, where you, you can find your uh, ddc and after adding uh, after adding uh, you can also see sessions identification security ac- security access all the uh, service id uh, you can access from the here from the uh, left corner and if you want to remove uh, cdd file so you can also select a remove or duplicate if you want to duplicate it and if you want to op- select to select this one then uh, this uh, candela studio will be open this one this will be open so uh, only just to add and remove and uh, after adding as it if you if you know this uh, available options variant target group and interfaces diag- diagnostic tester then only you uh, apply changes on those options otherwise uh, keep it as as it is uh, according to your project and then select okay so uh, like this so like this you can add uh, your cdd and pdx files